Hello everyone, welcome to Techvity Investing's free YouTube course on basics of options. This is the first part where we begin about options. The first video was introductory, but before every video, you all know the standard disclaimer that this is for educational and entertainment purposes only. There is no advice being solicited, solicited here. So this, in this video, we will basically understand what are call options. We will define an option and we'll take an example of a call option. That's it. Without further ado, what is an option? Let's read. An option is a contract that gives the buyer the right but not the obligation to buy or sell an underlying asset at a specific price on or before a certain date. An option just like a stock or bond is a security. It is also a binding contract with strictly defined terms and properties. This happened? <laughs> Let's simplify with the help of this example. So let us understand options with the help of a simple example. So let's say there is a house that you really like in the city of Bangalore. The price of the house is 50 lakh rupees and today is the 1st of June. However, you don't have this 50 lakh rupees, but you know that you will have 55 lakh rupees by the 31st of December, six months from now. So effectively, this house can be purchased at up to 55 lakh rupees. But you are scared that the prices of the house in Bangalore city are really, really rising. And there is a good news that traffic is going to reduce in Bangalore because of which traffic is further, not traffic, the price is further going to increase. So you want to add any which way secure the price for a maximum of 55 lakh rupees how do you do this now here let's say that you meet a fin guy right a fin guy or an options guy whom you trust okay the option guy tells you okay i understand the problem that you are in let me do a deal with you okay this is you for a certain risk, I am willing to cover you such that if the price of the house increases by more than 55 lakh rupees, by, by that I mean if it becomes 56 lakhs or 60 lakhs or 70 lakhs or whatever above 55 lakh rupees, I will pay you the difference. So effectively for you, the price will always be 55 lakh rupees, but I will pay you this difference in exchange for a risk premium. Okay, because the fin guy says that he's taking a risk. Okay, he deserves a premium for the risk. Okay, so that premium he says will be, for example, 3 lakh rupees. This is what he'll expect in return for this option. So this option is such that if the price rises above 55 lakh rupees, the fin guy will pay you whatever difference is from that price to 55 lakh rupees on the date of 31st of December. Here in effect, 31st of December is the expiry date of the option. 3 lakh rupees is the premium you paid to enforce this option. 55, 50 lakh rupees is the current price also known as the spot price. Spot at this spot or at this moment, this is the price. 55 lakh rupees is the price beyond which the option gets exercised. So if the price is below 55 lakh rupees, the fin guy owes you nothing at all. Only if the price goes above 55 lakh rupees, he is saying that he will pay you the difference. So this 55 lakh rupees is also known as the strike price of this option. So let's take scenarios. Let's say the price of the house on the date of 31st of December it becomes, let's say 60 lakh rupees. So the fin guy will owe you 60 lakh minus 55 lakh is equal to 5 lakh rupees. But you have paid him a premium of 3 lakh rupees, right? So your net benefit is 2 lakh rupees. If the price of the house becomes 58 lakh rupees, fin guy will pay you 3 lakhs but you have given him a premium of 3 lakhs, so you make no profit or no loss. 
if the price of the house after 6 months is 50 lakh rupees because it is not over 55 lakh rupees the fin guy owes you nothing he will pay you zero but you have still paid him 3 lakh rupees premium which you will stand to lose and you will be at a loss of 3 lakh rupees so how much ever the price falls below 55 lakhs the fin guy owes you nothing and you will lose all of your premium but you don't lose anything else however the fin guy stands to lose a lot how do you ask let's take the example that the price of the house becomes 75 lakh rupees a new it park is coming in that area so naturally the price has gone up now the fin guy owes you 75 minus 55 that is 20 lakh rupees and you have paid him 3 lakh rupees you stand to gain 17 lakh rupees out of this exercise a house worth 75 lakh rupees will be paid to you for 55 plus 3 lakh rupees you stand to gain 17 lakh rupees out of this exercise so the fin guy is at a bigger risk because his losses can be unlimited because the price of the house can be anywhere but your losses is pegged and your losses are at 3 lakh rupees right what we just discussed is nothing but an example of a call option so i hope you guys enjoyed the example on call options we simplified it so what did we learn that there is a buyer and a seller to an option a call option trade there is a premium that is exchanged the buyer gives the seller a certain premium in that example it was 3 lakh rupees the outcome of the option depends on the underlying asset in the example the underlying asset was the prices of property in bangalore right the option has an expiry date on which date the value of the option is calculated right the spot price is the current price of the asset at this spot in the example it was 50 lakh rupees the option has a strike price so strike price is the price that matters at the expiry date so whether the underlying is above the strike price or below the strike price is what determines whether the option has a value or doesn't have a value in case of the call option if the price at the expiry date is above the strike price okay it has value that is how a call option works right so the buyer benefits if the price goes up i hope you guys enjoyed this session on call options i hope it was simplified for you before we go think this is a question for you to ponder upon and then we'll move on to the next part 3 of this series thank you for watching